So today I'll go through how to create a database in SQL Server 2012. First, let's launch Management Studio by going to Start, All Programs, Microsoft SQL Server 2012, and select Management Studio. Once Management Studio comes up, connect to your SQL Server instance. Now there are a couple ways you can create databases. You can do it through the GUI or you can create them using SQL statements. First I'll go through the graphical way. So once you're connected to your server go to databases and select new database. Under database name we can specify what we want to call our new database. So let's call it testdb1. The owner by default is going to be me, my username. And we have a couple settings here that we can change. The initial size of the database, the auto grow, how we want the database to grow whenever it needs space. These settings by default they come from the model database and we could change these values if we want say we know the database is going to be very large we could right off the bat give it 20 gigs so I'm just going to leave it as the default and if we scroll to the right we'll see some other options we could set here on the path is where we specify the location for our data files and our log files the data file has the extension of .mdf and the log file has the extension of .ldf. I'm just going to leave it in the default location. And here we specify what we want the physical file names to be. If we leave it as is, it would just use the logical file name and then append it with the file extension of .mdf and for the log file it will just use testdb1 underscore log .ldf so I'm just going to leave those blank and use the default values so then we can click on OK and it will go ahead and create the database for us So now when we expand databases, you'll see we have testdb in here, currently without any user tables. So database is created. The other way to create a database is through T-SQL statements. So to do that, we can open up a new query window. Now if we want to create a database similar to what we just did through the GUI using all the default values, the create database statement is actually very simple. The command is just create database and then you specify your test database name and this time we'll name it testdb2. If we execute that it will create the database for us. And now if we refresh, we have test database too. There are a lot of other options that you can use along with this create database statement. And you can look these up in SQL Server Books Online. And you could get to there by going to Start, All Programs, SQL Server 2012, open up documentation community and under there there is a SQL Server documentation now if you're familiar with previous versions of SQL Server you'll notice that the books online looks a little bit different than previous versions so in this version of SQL Server we want to go under the help viewer home expand SQL Server books online and you have your topics here and if you want to search for something in particular go to the index tab on the bottom 
and in our case we want to search for create database and now we can read up on all the different options we have in creating a database